take you right up to 12 noon for the Eagles pregame show with Mike and Merle, and then Mike and Merle with the call at 1 o'clock. And now it's time for our Where Are They Now segment. So let's go to the Barb's Harley Davidson Sports Hotline and welcome into the locker room, a great friend of the locker room, and a guy that's known for the hit. Let's welcome in Sheldon Brown. What's up, Sheldon? What's going on, Billy? How you doing? All right, man, Sheldon, you've been a great friend of the show. We, we, we love hearing from you, but Hunter and I were talking earlier. You're known for the hit. <laughs> the hit? The hit on Reggie Bush. I know, I know, I know. I hear about the hit all the time. <laughs> so how you been, Sheldon? Um, I'm not doing too well right now. We just dropped another game, we went one and three down in Georgia playing at Lake Point in a PBR event baseball tournament. So we're uh, we're doing a segment called Where Are They Now, where we get to talk to uh, uh, each week for Eagles pregame show. We're going to talk with former Eagles players. So tell us, what are you doing with yourself right now, Sheldon? Well, I have a uh, a hitting a baseball facility down in um, York, Clover, Lake Wiley, South Carolina. It's in that area, and um, I've got about fifteen boy baseball teams from eight to sixteen years old, and I have a couple girl softball teams that play out of that facility. And I spend most of my time on a baseball field. So uh, you you uh, you were you were really into baseball. I mean, they think we knew about that, but uh, what was your passion growing up? Football or baseball? Um, I love baseball. I wanted to be a baseball player, but obviously it was hard to get a, a full Division One offer. So I ended up playing football. I played a little bit of baseball at the University of South Carolina, but I guess if I had to play baseball professionally, I'd be into football. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Shel, what else? What else do you have yourself doing to keep yourself busy, Sheldon? Um, that's about it. I help out at Clover, uh, Clover Middle School. I come to do football over there. Sometimes I go up to the high school and do some stuff. Um, and that's about it. Other than that, I just hang out with the kids and they keep me young. How old are your kids? Fourteen. Dion is fourteen, and Simone is uh, thirteen. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. They definitely, that age, it's busy. So, Sheldon, uh, it's a weird season. 2020, the COVID hits. How hard do you think it is it to play in, in stadiums that don't have any people in them, no fans? It, it has to be very difficult. Um, I was thinking that the other day. It's like a glorified training camp, you, you know. Um, but training camps used to be brutal up in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, with all the fans showing up and, and doing that stuff, but I would imagine it's really hard to get amped up for a football game without seeing those bodies in the stadium seats. You know, as a as a for, you know, I played football in high school and college at Leeds McCray College in Banner Oak, North Carolina. And we used to run out of this thing called the hole. It was like like it was off the it was underneath the stands. Like we used to come running through like a like it was in the woods type of thing. But I always remember. How, remember how pumped up you used to get Sheldon running through the the tunnel, especially when you were in South Carolina, running out on the field with the band playing and everything, and with the Eagles, with all the pop and circumstance. That gets you pumped up. Uh, that's an incredible feeling. I mean, it's like a gladiator getting ready to go to war. It, it, it's, it's one of those experiences that unless you actually do it, you can't really explain the feeling. Um, knowing that you're getting ready to go put, I mean, let's be honest, you're going to put your life at risk a little bit because that one hit, you could be paralyzed. So it's just, I don't know, the momentum, the the excitement, the the, the, the unknown of what's getting ready to happen, um, it's, it's unreal. It's really unreal. So, Sean, that brings me to another question. So when you first were, when your rookie year in, in with the Eagles – Obviously, you had a lot of butterflies, a lot of uh, amped up emotions. Did that? Did that? Um, did that lessen as you became more of a veteran, or did you always have that same, like the butterfly? You always had that same uh, trepidation about going going to war, basically. Every game, I had that butterfly. <laughs> um, it would go away probably. I would say four minutes into play, it kind of goes away. But before every game, I had that butterfly. Every I mean, game. There, there were some guys. I, I mean, I remember playing some guys. I would see them getting sick. Oh, I've played with guys before opening kickoff that did some stuff. I can't say it on the air, but <laughs> you'd be like, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Sheldon, <laughs> our Eagles are going with it. If you to give me permission to say it on air. No, 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 I don't want to get – come on, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> 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 Sheldon, uh, the, the like, Eagles no – Sheldon, the Eagles are 0-2 uh-huh. going into Cincinnati. Their Cincinnati Bengals are coming to town. They're facing a rookie quarterback in Joe Burrow who won the Heisman Trophy last year. Uh, so you're a former defensive back uh, at five foot ten. We're at a little bit of a disadvantage. It's, how hard is it playing against receivers that are a lot bigger than you? Like the uh, the Cincinnati Bengals receivers average six foot two or taller when our defensive backs are at five eight, five nine, five eleven. How how much of a disadvantage is it? Well, we had that same situation when I was playing, and we had to go play San Francisco 49ers. You know, they had um, a bunch of those Michigan players that were tall. Um, T.O. was over there at the time. Uh, looked like a basketball team getting off the bus. So the best defender in that is your defensive line. Um, right. You know, it's actually easier to stay in front of a taller guy. It's just the deep balls down the field that you have to worry about because of the height advantage in the uh, pass interference call. But if your defensive line can get home – with less than five seconds, you should be all right because it takes that to run down the field routes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sheldon, you know, uh, nowadays the game's changed a little bit, even since you played, which wasn't that long ago. There's a lot more trash talking. Uh, does that come into play a little bit? Or is like, uh, or just, just playing hard-nosed football, getting up into somebody's grill? Well, we didn't deal with a lot of trash talking because we had some thumpers in the second. You know, we had Dawkins, <laughs> Lewis. Um, one year I played with Blaine, B- Blaine Bishop. He was pretty – he was a thumper coming out of Tennessee. Um, and, you know, I've been known to take a couple hits myself. <laughs> so, we didn't really have receivers running their mouth coming into Philly, especially with the rules, because we could do some things that you can't do today. We're talking with Sheldon Brown, former Eagles defensive back. And I know, Sheldon, you've been asked this a million times. I think we talked to you about it before. But that hit on Reggie Bush, I mean, that's just a hit that keeps on giving. Yeah, I mean, it was right time and right place, right game, right everything. And um, it's one of those things. That, and I look at it sometime today. I'm, I'm 41 today, and I was, I'm was i thinking to myself, how in the world did I do something? Like <laughs> what was it like when you went you know, back into the huddle? That, what was it like yeah, when you went I, back into the huddle? Know. What was it like when I went back to the huddle? I don't even remember the huddle. That's how crazy <laughs> that game was. That was early in that game. The Superdome was pumping, you know what I mean? It was just, I, like I said, I, I look at it today and I'm thinking there's no way I did that. How loud How loud does the Superdome get? Really loud. Really, is really it loud. Is loud. so, it louder than the vet? It, I haven't been to it. Oh, absolutely, yes, 100%. It's indoors. It's yeah. the loudest place we play. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it, it's absolutely louder than the vet. And then – uh. The Falcon Stadium, when I used to play, and it was pretty loud, too. It was indoors. Yeah, yeah. Sheldon, we uh, we, we really appreciate all the memories you gave us back in the day. Uh, what is your one of your fondest, before we let you go, what, what are your fondest memories of playing with the Eagles? Um, well, first and foremost, it was the, the win to get to the Super Bowl um, because we had dropped two at home. Um and then we finally get that victory to get to the big game. And then planning that Super Bowl for me was uh, a lifetime experience. And I live – it was a play. Deion Branch was the receiver. Tom Brady was the quarterback, obviously, in New England. They ran a dig route on me, and I had perfect coverage. I undercut the route, and the ball barely went through my hand. And I still live today thinking if I would have picked that ball, we probably would have won that, won that Super Bowl. So that's one of the things that kind of haunts me and sticks with me. Uh, as I continue through life, I remember that play like yesterday. You know what, Perfect Sheldon? It's funny you say that because that's the Super Bowl with something that you could define your, your your whole career. Uh, I don't I don't personally remember that, but it's it's living with you, and that's something that is something you'll never be able to shake. That's <laughs> unbelievable. No, nah. no, nope. I will never be able to shake it. And what's uh, crazy is I we played in Super Bowl thirty nine, and my rookie year I wore number thirty nine. That was my jersey number. All right, listen, uh, we have our Housemaster Home Twitter poll question of the day. I'll ask it to you. Will Carson Wentz play well today against the Cincinnati Bengals? Right now, 54% of our voters say, 57% of our voters say yes, 43% say no. What say you, Sheldon? 
Of course he will. All right. Of course gotcha. he will. That's the great thing about an athlete, especially with his back against the wall. You know, there's no greater preparation than after a loss, which I'm sure he's been preparing his tail off and going to. So he'll play very well today. All right, Sheldon. Listen, man, I really I love talking to you. You're a great friend of the show. Thank you so much. Continued success and happiness down there in South Carolina. 